Because he was so focused on that helicopter that he had no idea that one of the rotor blades actually struck and killed a man in his truck nearby. Now, that witness says that he actually spoke to the pilots. Everything seemed okay. He struck a conversation with them, and they actually gave him his their business cards because they wanted to see that cell phone video that he took of the seconds following that crash. But what seemed like a close call was actually a tragedy. Dude just crashed this helicopter. Drivers pulling over, checking for survivors. A few seconds after crash landing onto South 50th Street, the helicopter doors fly open and both the pilot and his passenger jump out. Thank goodness it wasn't their day. At the moment, everything seemed okay. You can see both men standing by the chopper, at one point giving each other a hug. They survived the hard landing, but were unaware the crash caused another man to lose his life. You can hear one of them say it was a close call. I almost hit that truck, man. <laughs> I saw you coming down. Jeff Wenglarski witnessed the crash and took this firsthand video. It was loud. It drew a crowd. That's for sure. Once it came down, um, it, it, was, it was pretty loud. He was on his way back to work from lunch when he saw the helicopter flying low. Came over my head. He was awfully low, so I pulled my phone out started videoing because it looked like he was coming down. One of its rotor blades slicing a telephone pole in half. Snapped it off and uh, basically crashed it. Like many witnesses who were focused on the chopper, when Glarski didn't know the worst was far from over. The pilot survived, but close by a passenger in a truck was killed. You never know what's going to what's going to happen. Now, witnesses say that they are glad that the pilot survived, but obviously everyone's heart goes out to the family that lost a loved one today. We are still waiting to learn his name.